Hello, hello. Hey, Jan and Joan. How are you ladies doing? Just getting set up down here and digging my way out of the last, <laughs> the last uh, barrage. Give me some room, but elbow room here. My hands are freezing. The basement's cold. I got my heater on, but hey, Kath. It's not, uh, it's not catching up to me yet. I'm going to sit here while a couple other people join and, and, uh, hold my hands over my heater. Lordy. My hands and my feet get so daggone cold. All right. This is just a water. I, it took me a while to dig out from the last, uh, Last time I was down here, which, geez, I think was before Christmas. I'm not sure. But anyway, a while, let's say. This was one of the watercolors I worked on. Uh, <laughs> I look at this in the, I'm looking here and then I look over at the computer screen and see it on there. And I immediately think of Gala. <laughs> I'll save this for when she joins. Um, I got a couple watercolors. These came in a couple weeks ago. Um, and again, I just haven't been down here. But the, I saw these. They're handmade watercolors. And I think that's M-A-B is the name of the company. M-A-B or M-A-Z. I think it's B. M-A-B. Hey, Bon, Bonnie, who else snuck in? Dot. Um, but I saw somebody using these and these, well, if I can get them open. <laughs> Great. Here we go. They're all different kinds of, um, they call them the mirror set. They're very shiny uh, silvers. Now they look like they have, why is that yellow? It must be some reflection of something. They are not gold. They look gold on camera. I can assure you they are aluminum foil, silver, and like chrome. But they're different sizes of the um, the pigments and the flakes of the mica and whatever else is in there, glitter or whatever. So I wanted to, um, I saw somebody using them and I thought, you remember way back when I was doing some galaxies? Jan, that's Bonnie from, the, from our retreat. Sneaking in. Um, but it just put such a thin layer of the glitter over like a dark sky it, that it really looked like twinkling stars. Um, they're very different from my favorite uh, Lissy Linka. And they are, you know, just scream and shine everywhere the whole time. I mean, it's, they're loaded. But these, I think, are purposely not so that you get a different look. So, you know what? Let's just... Let's see. Let me find something that's not... Well, this is this is nothing. This I did this last time just playing with throwing different watercolors around and letting them blend. I think there was way too much pigment on this. This is the day that my mojo took leave of me. <laughs> so, um, let's just, for shits and giggles, as we say... I got a separate color of hers, too, called Cosmopolitan. And we'll see what that looks like. I love a good Cosmo, got to tell you. And she sent me a sample of one called Vivid. So it looks like a shifter. Hello. So we'll see what that does. But, um, and I did get this brush along the way. This is even a more... Uh, needle-nosed little liner brush from Tintoretto. It's 1408 series. See how long that bad boy is? And uh, it's a 3 slash 0. 1408. Come on, baby. Why don't you focus for mama? Come on. Happy New Year, camera. Let's 
Oop, there we go. Well, you're just going to have to believe me. I can't uh, hold my arms up like that anymore right now. Hopefully my upcoming surgery will correct that, but you never know. Oh, by the way, got a call from my surgeon's office. My surgery set up for the 17th for the spinal fusion and discectomy. Discectomy. Um, and, uh, yeah, they called and said, well, your insurance denied your procedure. What, are you fucking kidding me? It, I had moved so many appointments and got work lined up. And uh, just so many things that were in the way of the next couple of months that I moved. Uh, had to move out of the way. And then they said, well, it's denied. So the surgeon's going to have a one-on-one -on -one with them. I did not, Jan. I didn't see it. Um, so <laughs> I um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, my surgeon's supposed to have a meeting with them on the 11th. And then um, it either gets fixed or it doesn't and then goes into appeals. And who the hell knows how long I got to wait after that. I'm like, are you... Knee revision tomorrow. Oh, I knew that was coming up. I didn't know it was tomorrow. Jan, I'm t <laughs> I like everybody knows who I'm talking to. But um, good luck tomorrow with that, Jan. Now, are you going to have to go to like a rehab again? I'm not sure how invasive that is. You know, I've had that insurance company for a long time. Hey, April. And I've never had an issue. They're saying it's because I didn't complete, yet complete the physical therapy. I was going to it and actually had to cancel a last, my last couple appointments because it, it wasn't helping my neck and shoulder and the nerves down my arm issue. What it was doing was crippling both my shoulders because of all the, you know, pulls on weights like this and out like a butterfly move. It's all in your shoulders to strengthen the back of your neck and down between your shoulder blades. I was completely, I mean, I was in a lot of pain with my shoulder. They both need surgery. One's already had surgery. The other one needed, I'll be bionic by the time this crap's over with. But anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. So um, I got these soaking over here. I want to try these a little bit. I'm just going to put them over some of these dark colors just for gigs. See what they do. Oh, that heat's starting to work. Here's the link to the well. Oh, look at you. Okay, just for gigs. Let's just go around the horn. And let's pick up this one here. And this one's, that's pretty pretty large pieces of glitter on there. And let's just go, I'll sort of drag my arm through it over something dark up here. And we'll see how much of a, how much coverage that gives you. you see, it's kind of, it's kind of spread out there. Um, this one looks like they're really big. I don't know if those even all. Am I getting those on the brush here? These look like they're small ones. And with pretty sizable ones. See those top two there that I've used? That one in the center? Come on. Let's try to get real close. Oh, it looks like a disco ball. Oh, there's a flashback nobody needs to hear about. Ooh! They look pretty sizable in there, but there's some smaller ones in there too. But I think that was the one that makes the Starry Night kind of a look. See how they're kind of they're spread out. They don't pick up and load your brush the same way. So let's see what this one over here does. This one's real fine, I think. But it has some big bits in there. 
as it, it looks like. Wow. Yeah, that one had a lot more coverage with the, some of the bigger chunks in there. So these are these are different from any that I've seen. I've seen a lot of them. Just saying. Here's this one. Let's go over here. Whoa, that one's got a lot of coverage too. But I'm not getting any of the bigger glitter in that one. That one looks like it's just a smooth pigment. This one looks a little grittier. Is that a word? It is now. I'm going to go right over this dark with this one here. I'm trying to figure out myself how that is different. And this is the last one here. Let's go right underneath here with this. Ooh, that's pretty. We're going to let these sit them aside and let them dry for a little bit. Um, and then come back to them. I want, do want to sample this Cosmopolitan here. No, I didn't wet that one. Let's throw a little agua on there. And this little number right here. Let that sit for a minute while these dry. Hmm. You know, I'm going to grab a piece of black paper. I'm just going to grab my old faithful black bond paper. And while those are drying, I'm going to do a little. And while these are soaking. She's still having sloth withdrawals, I think, Kath. Oops. Get back there. Oh no, you all got sick? Oh crap. That's no fun. I don't know if these have individual names on them or not. I know they sell them individually, too. Kids tested positive for COVID. Negative, but... Oh, crap. Ah. I bet um, Sandra would like these. And Sandra leaves tomorrow for her big Iceland trip. Gabby's already over there for a few days and she's going over to join her. All right, let's see what we can get out of this Cosmo. Oh, that's got holographic uh, glitter in it. I don't know about this one. That one's probably going to sit longer. You can see a little bit of the pink color on here. But on the white, here you barely see anything. Just the slightest 
uh, well, unless there's a puddle, you can't even tell that it's like a flesh color in there. That may be one of those that's really hard that you got to let, let it sit there for a little bit. Let's try this. This, I think, is a shifter. I can usually spot a shifter a mile away. This has a different texture to the paint. It almost looks like milk on this paper. And this is not watercolor paper, by the way. It is not. Get this a little bit more juiced up here. So I was thinking that maybe I just ease back into it and do a mindless watercolor that doesn't take much thought <laughs> even that seems a bit of a challenge at this point all right let me sit these over here yeah that middle center one that's the starry night looking one that's just with the, the pigment that really scatters it's down here too All right, these are kind of drying up now. So I think I think my favorites are these two. I don't dislike any of them. These are going to have to dry before we can we can decide how much we love those. I'm going to put this over here. Um, so let's... You guys may have seen um, Denise Love show these Zig acrylic liners. You can't get them anywhere right now except for on the... What the hell's the name of that box? Sketchbox website. Um... But she really liked these. I went out there and got a couple of those. And I should have one. And I've got four sketch boxes stacked up. Where I've tried to quit the subscription. And they apparently keep coming. So I'm going to have to call them, I guess, if they're, you can even call them. Um, let's see what this looks like. My hands are so cold, I can't even do my normal scripting. That's just a bunch of squiggles. <laughs> Let me do some dots. And lines. And actually, it's very reflective. I don't know if you guys can tell that or not. It's very smooth and reflective. And these two, um, acrylograph by Arches and Olive. That came in one of the sketch boxes. I think it was a black one. I don't remember. But I went back to see what else they had. And they only had navy and white that I thought I would dilly-dally with trying. I'm just going to make some circles here. Now, this is the paper that actually, and I can see this changing now to like a gray-blue. This leaches into the paint, which is a good thing to do some stuff with. But when you want to show a white, a white uh, marker, not the best test. It's already turning. And this one's navy. Same thing. Seem pretty smooth. But I, these are hard to find, too. You can go on the Archer and Olive website and buy, like, sets of them. But I didn't want to buy any big sets until I decided if I really liked them or not. Well, look who's here. Better late than never. But she's bowing, so I'll accept it. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, let's... Um, why are my papers dirty? Imagine that. Um, you know what? I think I just want to do a very simple-minded... 
just horizontal lines and let them kind of bleed into each other. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, my hands are frozen. I don't know if you guys remember this, um, but these are those. I forgot I even did these. <laughs> Where I took the, um, what the heck's that stuff called? The um, streamer paper. What's that called? Crepe paper on the little rolls. And I spread out bronze um, acrylic paint on the jelly plate and then laid these down on it ever so lightly just so it hits the high parts of the paper and they came out really textured which I thought was kind of cool for a future collage <laughs> I gotta go back to working on my book we started in Arizona Lord have mercy I got all kind of stuff in the uh, in the works. What is this? Oh, that's that one. Okay. Oh my goodness. Frozen hands. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mix some of the masha. Gail, I was saving this one for you. I just, just screams Gail to me. Um, and remember how I added the real pale color up here and how the mashas kind of wisped into it? Um, I think I'm going to do that. Now that that's dry, can you see the moon shift? Oop. That may mean something more special to some people that were in Maryland one year than others. Oh, the dreaded shifting moon. You come out and walk in the hallways at your own peril at the hotel there. All right, I'm going to juice those up a little bit. And I have, I've been seeing Allison Darwant. Um, check out her YouTube channel if you haven't. She is the creator of this lovely box of Oracle cards, her art poetry for insights and inspiration. Um, that she has for sale. These are beautiful cards. They all have a little sentiment on it. And this is the style I'm always trying to emulate when I, you know, just with the drips and the mixed media stuff. She's got various different styles that she's done over the years in here. But they're all her original artworks printed on cards, trimmed in gold. They are beautimous. I was watching a video of hers actually before I came down here. But um, let's see. Hey, Susan. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, Susan. Thanks. Um, but I've seen her recently start to use some beams, beam paints. And I actually have five of them. I have one that's called Sky Color. Salish Sea. Uh, what is that? Orca. I do remember Orca. Was it? I like that one. Gray Ochre. And wintry nights. So I think I'll I'll just incorporate those in here too. And I'm going to pull out one of my um, oh this box broke. Ah. I think I'm going to use the other one. Yeah, I'll use this one. It's got more of those lighter colors in it that I was using. I'm just going to spray this away from the rest of the stuff so it's not too much of a disaster. I was going to tape it, but that seems like a lot of extra work. <laughs> oh, she is? She's not printing them again? Oh, well. Um, yeah, grab them all you can on her website. It's Allison with two L's. D-A-R-W-A-N-T. Her YouTube channel's awesome. Um, oh, lousy. Okay. Cold hands. Warm heart. That's what my grandmother used to always say. All right. Let's just start. And this is my, I showed you guys this last time, my recent Masha purchase with the little ceramic handmade pots that she makes. And I had her fill them, of course, because they're not any good to me empty. I mean, I know I could fill my own, but not with hers. Hey, Eminem. And a little gold rim on there. Can't hate it, people. 
Okay, let's a little less chatter, a little more. <laughs> if I kick it, <laughs> nice gala. It's all about what can get what we can get gala. Not poor Patty. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do some. Just some harm. I'm just going to kind of eyeball the margin. I don't care if it's exactly straight or not. I just need to start painting again. It feels like I come down here and hold the brush. I'm like, what the hell is that in my hand? I could say that's what she said, but then that would be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Isn't she, Joan? She's the best. <laughs> so let's go a little bit of serpent green here. This is the one that does all the raccoon stuff together. Just let it bump every once in a while. One of her former qualities. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to scoot in a little bit more. You can see the pretty blooms happening. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab one of these really pale colors here. I don't know why, but this pink saying, use me, use me. It's a real baby pink. I have no idea what the name of it is. But it's an ocean watercolor. And I'm going to let this just drag around that hole that whole edge and let that pull down and see what happens. And let's do this sale. I don't know. Sale is solish. S A L I S H. It's not sale with an I. It's S A L I S H. Let's put this down here. It's pretty. And then let's drop a little something in there, shall we? We shall. Let's do um, this green right here and just drop a little bit of that in. Oh, wow. That was a lot. Let's see what happens with that. This is still wet up here. I think I'm going to drop in maybe some of that pink. My computer fan is running really a lot. I'm sorry. Judah, hello. Welcome. Um, wow, that's really doing cool stuff there. They interact really cool together, actually. Now, of course, my hands are frozen, but the heater is burning the rest of me up. So move that out of my way. <laughs> Let's do... Um, that's that orange flame, I think. I haven't memorized these spots in my palette, but I think this is flame. places. Sounds like ale. Oh, maybe. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's put some of this pale yellow in this orange. Break that up a little bit. I'm going to put a line of that through there. It kind of sinks. Underneath the marsha pigment. Why is my phone blowing up here? Well, 
let's do, um, which one is this? Hotel. Well, we're just going to throw it out here and see what happens. I don't know which one that is. Oh, that's, um, I'm going to say forest green. Let's grab something more blue-green over here and see what that does. Let's grab this one. Wow, look how that orange swept down into there. I'll let it keep going downhill. I was going to just add this to the green. I don't know why I started its own little line here, but, you know, easily distracted. Oh, off the coast of British Columbia. Ah, oh, cool. Um... I think this is the purpley one. Wow, they're really running up there. Now that I look back at them. I'm going to put another... I think another row. This, I think, is ocean. I'm going to do this serpent green and see what it does with this. This one here. That may give us some kind of Raku effects, too. That green's a traveler. It's like this green goes north when the other ones mostly go south. I know that's not a general art term. Going downhill while easily being distracted. I can really. <laughs> oh, please. Let's do. Um, I need to get something else. Right in there. Let's use this one. I forget if this is pinch. Or if it's the um, dragon red. That's dragon red. That really pulls out the um, the yellow in that serpent green. And I said I was going to use these, and I didn't use them. I cannot be trusted, clearly. Um, what do I want to put next to that red? Let's do... Um, for no other reason, sky color. I getting used to these um, pans or whatever you want to call these. They're all um, sustainable products made for their storage and and their um, pans, for lack of a better word. These it's like balled up canvas. So there's no plastic waste. Ooh, look what this did. Yikes. What's it mean when your nose itches? It means you're going to get watercolor all over your hand. That's okay. Oh, I know I was going to tell you guys. I CB. Hello, messy palette. Um, I have got the bug to, I don't like that at all in there. I might come back with this dark blue in here and kind of course correct in there. See what happens with that. I like the color, but I didn't like that where it was there. We'll just mix them up. 
No one will be the wiser. Someone is coming with a hole in their britches. Someone is coming with a hole. What the hell are you talking about, CP? <laughs> Someone is coming with a hole in their britches. Mm. Does anybody know what she's talking about? Have you been hitting the hooch this early, CB? <laughs> you never know. You have to ask these questions. Um, that's really dark now. What do I want to put in there? Can I lighten it up with any of these things? Of course I can. Let's do this almost white one. When your nose itch. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was like you're coming into money or something like that. I don't want anybody with no britches coming here. Well, there's a couple I would allow in. <laughs> yes, Dave is one of them. <laughs> I'm kidding. Does everybody know I'm kidding? Hey, cat. Yeah, not liking that so much. Okay, let's do... Um, I have to swatch these and remember what the hell they are. Oh, this one's really dark, too. That probably wasn't a good thing to do. Let's just do it anyway. I think this might be Storm. Is that called Storm? Yeah, it's got like a purple-black background to it. That was a little too much to put right next to that other one. So let's hurry up and get some of this pale, milky pink and to break them up or cause total disruption to the whole thing. Oh, that looks really cool how that's, oh, look what that's doing. Just when you think I've totally hosed it up, I was convinced myself. Okay, and I think this is Wave. Yep, that's Wave. It's getting a little bit up there. And let's put this last kind of a reddish color at the bottom there. Wow, that's just pouring down there. Speaking of pouring, I thought we were going to have to build an ark yesterday. Good Lord. Called for snow this weekend all week. Then it got to, oh, chance of snow. I got, oh, probably snow turning to rain. Here we got uh, rain that turned to sleet for about an hour. And um, then back to rain. And I mean, it poured for 20 hours or more. And uh, yeah, that wasn't so much fun. What do I want to put in there? Let's go with... That looks really cool. It's just a mess. I'm just making a mess. Don't get too impressed by any of this. It's completely accidental. I can I can swear to you. That was done intentionally for you, Gala. <laughs> I wonder if I just do this. What will happen there? Hmm. Probably not the best choice of colors here and there. It's not a theme, but look at that. 
you can't hate that. I just love to sit there and it's kind of mesmerizing. I'm very easily mesmerized. So don't be impressed by that either. <laughs> CB, what are you talking about? I think you already have them all, don't you? These are just Masha and the ocean. Also, I did hear Allison mention that um, she's the one I saw using ocean watercolors uh, months and months ago when I first started following her. Hey, Julie. Not not too much. She didn't miss too much. Just throwing some watercolors around. Something mindless today for my pitiful brain to focus on. Hey, Pam. There you go. I'm with you. Um, but they moved to a different... They're in Hawaii, but they moved to a different island. They had a new studio set up and different things that she said her last order took like three months for her to get. Uh, but she got them and they were great. And um, so she just said to beware, you know, that that makes, she's not sure if that's been, if they're in and settled and back to full production yet or not. As I'm stalling, I have my hand hanging over the here, my right hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's put this. somewhere safe. Is there such a place down here? I don't know. When this dries, maybe we'll come back and adorn it. <laughs> can't say that I hate it, but it's like too rainbowy, I think. I need it a little more uh, color direction. You know what I was thinking? See this whole row down here of all these kind of blue-greens? Maybe I'll just use... Ah, that'd be kind of boring though, wouldn't it? I'm answering it myself. I hear you thinking it. <laughs> Um, I think what I'm going to do is do, who was it? Was it Dot that said, why don't you just do circles instead of, not that, but when I do that, trying to do the Alice and Darwin thing. So maybe we'll just appease Dot's inner child and do some circles and then mix it with the ocean and let that, get that milky little surprise um i think this one is the peach i thought i made a um a swatch card for these i know most of them just by looking at them but some of the surprises are not where i want to go <laughs> um hmm. oh well thought i did guess i didn't I'm going to, meanwhile, I'm going to juice up some of my Lissy Linka. This was the color shifting set that they sold out of. Um, but more to come in 24, from what I understand. Let that juice up a little bit. He's grabbing the blue <laughs> I know that's very shocking. You know, it's a new year, new leaf. <laughs> Not so much. All right, so let's do. Hang on, I want to see what this is. Is that red earth? That's red earth, I think. What is this? Blue iron? I think that's blue iron. That's the forest green. And this is the green. Ah, cobalt green hue. I think that's what it looks like. Um, Daniel Smith. 
green. What's it called? Hey, Norma. Hello, dear. Um, Cascade Green, Daniel Smith. That's what this one reminds me of. But this, I think, was Storm. Yep. That was Red Earth. That's that one. This, I think, is Peach. I do believe that is... No, that's... Wait a minute. I'm just scratching them at the top of my under paper up here to get a get an idea what's going on here. All right, let's just do some. You know what I'm going to do? I tell you, what I'm going to do. I'm going to spritz my page. And then where the circles also hit a little puddle and they just bloom out. Whatever happens, happens. Hang on, let me pull this back out again. Just a little bit. So the page is a little bit, a little bit wet and a little bit, a couple little splatters. So let's, let's just start at the top. And go around and round and round. Now I'm going to get my sleeve in it, but that's okay. Bought some gone by top. Oh, the graphite ones. Oh, good. And I'm not going to make sure, I'm not going to worry about if they're perfect circles, Dot, before you say it. And let's go, let's go immediately over here and grab something a little milky to make bump up against this one. I like that color. It's kind of like a sagey. Blue, green, gray. I don't even close to a circle, is it? That's okay. You don't care. I'll try to come back in again now that I so you can see the. Try those touch a little bit there. Oh, see how that's kind of going out into the little spritzes of water? I like when it does these crazy things. Gail, I saw an ad for a hundred on sale, included the pearls and metallics. It's hard to pass up, but I already owned a lot of them. Let's do, um, let's get something orange in there. Something different. Let's brighten it up a little bit. Wow, that orange looks really bright on the screen. This cobalt green hue. But barely touch that. Look at that. Is that first one deep purple or a blue? It is actually ultramarine magenta. But it's showing more purple here. I'm not. I'm going to do a more watery one down here, so you can kind of see it. I usually use a lot of pigment when I'm doing this, but this one usually breaks out into a a purple and a pink. Maybe, maybe not. 
to let it sit for a minute and see how it granulates. Let's see here. Let's go back and grab, I think this is Storm. It looks almost black, but it's a, it's got a purple undertone to it. Kind of like a thunderstorm sky. Much like how we picture Gala's personality. <laughs> That's a lot of water in that one. Put a little drop of that over here since I got so much on my brush. That orange is a real traveler too. Look at that. Oh, I wanted to mix some of these in. Hello, remember me over here that I was going to do? I'm telling you. Attention span of a gnat. I'm going to go up here since this one's really wet right here and try to. Wow. Oh, that's that orange. Let's do... Did I say that was peach? I think this one's peach. Uh, nope. That's dragon red. I did that the last time too, didn't I? I, yeah, I have actually, Pam, um, not recently, but I used to play with them a lot. Oh, look, I'm flicking it everywhere. Oh, well, this has now turned into an experiment. <laughs> Let's grab this pale pink again and see what happens if I put that right in here and let it go. Whoa, 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 look at that one. It's just following me. Look at that rushing all in there. Wow. I don't know what it is, but with the ocean and the masha together that makes them run like that. That's pretty interesting. Ow. Did you hear that pop? That's a dang on shoulder. Let's try. Um, let's see. I don't know what color this is, like a mauve. Some of these are very not my colors, but I like them. <laughs> How's that possible? Let's go back up here before it gets too dry. What do I want to put over there? Let's do this. I don't use this blue iron that much. Let's see what happens. Of course, that orange is pretty dry now. That's what the hard part is of doing these, is to get them when they're, they're still wet enough to give you some action. Oh no, this is not, this is that Viola. I didn't think I put uh, blue iron in here. I like it, but it's not one of my top 12s that would fit in this palette that I had Masha do for me. Hi, Devin. We're just doing something mindless because that's pretty much my limit for the day. I have to think. I'm out. Um... Let's see, what did I, what did I say that one was? We're going to use it, whatever it is. 
Let's go down here. Oh. Oh, this is the forest green, I think. Yeah, I like those too, Kath. I'm going to turn this this way. And I'm going to spritz a little water. This may be a mistake. Here and there. And whatever happens, happens. And then let's do... Let's do this pale yellow. Real pale, 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 pale yellow. This is really wet here. So let's try to go... They look like pink lemonade. Look how that one just went around the edge of my brush there. See what that one's doing? Hey, hon. Day was up at a buddy's house and just got back home. Let's what's this one here. This is like a darker sage. There's something about that pale pink. Right here that's in that palette that's really goes into everything. I like it. Oh, what are we going to put over here? What are we going to do over here? Let's do, um, I haven't done this, but let's do a light washing. <gasps> Yikes. This. Oops, I'm trying to lift some of that. I always have a heavy, heavy hand on the pigment. Hey, are you see? Uh huh. What's up? Oh, okay. Well, I won't be too much longer. What time is it? Five. I started at four, maybe another half an hour. Will it hold? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. I did not feed him. He was outside, though. We're talking about the dog, not my husband. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know, people often mistake me my work for Klimp. <laughs> That's a joke, people. That's a joke. I mean, that's just a blob of nothing, right? I, can't, I just can't, I can't get my, my brain back in there. Let's throw, while this is wet, let's throw a little bit of this stuff in here. This is some color shifting. And let's see, Linka. Looks like that works some magic there. Let's put, I'm putting it on light colors that it will, like, not light. This is still wet up here. I don't know what that'll do, but let's just put it in there. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> 
it's all kind of a mistake. Or we're just playing because that's all I have the mind to do. I didn't have a stroke. I'm reading the chat. <laughs> I know it sounds like I have a stroke now and then, but I really didn't. Um, that's still kind of wet in some of those corners down there. Let's see. How bad would it be? Let's take this. Is this the new one? Yeah. This is that new Tintoretto 14083-0 brush. It's got a really, really long nose on it. Let's see if we can... Hang on. I'm going to get something else out of here. at my Lizzie Link a drawer of tricks. I think this one's got a lot of possibilities in here. This is the Summer Lovin'. Yeah, the Summer Lovin' set. They're, they're um, oops, color, all color shifters. Yeah, you just you just got to go for it. Sit down and play. Some days you eat the bear. Some days the bear eats you. That's one full bear walking around this neighborhood. I got to tell you. <laughs> but you know when have you haven't done it for so long, really? Um, I personally lose my. The, just the whole feel of everything, how I move the brush and how much pigment I pick up and all kind of crazy stuff happens to me when I don't, uh, I don't play for a long time. I'm going to turn this upside down because that's still wet down there. That was pretty juicy. And let's, um, let's just see here. I'm going to go with like contrasting bits of shimmer in here. Yeah, what do I want to do? <laughs> there's there's the big question. I have doodle block. <laughs> Sounds intestinal, but it's not. Yeah, reminds you of the Grease movie. Okay. Let's um oops. Big drip. Another big drip. Another big drip. Stop with the big drips. I must have super loaded that up. Super loaded. Um, let's just let's just do something. Just stop thinking and just move the brush around on the paper. Whoa, that was like Make up my own language, Pam. <laughs> um, let's put the purple one on the green. This one. Actually, I think this one's called Blue Butterfly. But it's got it's got some purple in it. I'll make some long dashes through there. Oakley, what you doing, buddy? 
Dave, are you down here? No. <laughs> My husband lies to me. <laughs> I just want to make sure he didn't sneak down here somewhere, somehow and with me not being able to see him over on that side. Hey, puppy. Come here. You want to say hi to the ladies? Come here, buddy. I'm going to move the camera. Oops. Come in here closer. Come in here closer. Oh, he's not cooperating. Okay, hang on to your lunch. Yeah. My camera looks crooked. Oh, my crap. I know. Hang on, now i got to move the whole friggin' thing. Sorry, kids. That's the way it goes. Damn dog. <laughs> he's actually getting better. He was never a bad dog. He was very overly enthusiastic. <sighs> the thoughts of him, or when we first got him, my hope was that he would be a, um, a therapy dog that I could take to children's hospitals and nursing homes and that kind of stuff. He was doing actually not too bad in training, although he was just still hard to handle because he just wanted to Dino, Dino, Dino the dinosaur, everybody. Um, and uh, crap, I forget what color I had here. He wasn't calm enough. And then when he started doing better, COVID hit, shut down the training for years. Hey, Fran, shut down training. And, uh, you know, so now. He's doing a lot. Well, he will be six at the end of this month, actually. That's hard to believe, but that's that's where we are. Oh, this does a nice flowy little line. I wasn't going to put this in every row, but now I kind of committed myself. That's like trying to get, trying to teach Gala to be a therapy dog. Uncontrollable. Mind of her own. I need a smaller little teeny tiny brush. Let's use the tip of this one. Let's lose, use this. Not looking at the chat. Using every brain cell I have left. I'm trying to make something that vaguely looks like a round shape. I don't dare I say circle. <laughs> See you, Devin. Have a nice time. this over here. Let's try this bad boy. I'm going to put this Oh, that pink really shows. This is a shifter that's got pink, gold, and maybe green in it. One of them. No, this one has green. I forget what colors these are in here. Pink and gold for sure. You can kind of see it shift in the pan. All the different colors that are in it. Oh, yeah. It's mesmerizing. You know, he's actually shocking. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the madness. I'm having a uh, slow re-entry into the world of me putting watercolor on paper. Um, but we had company, uh, a couple times recently and actually after he got over his first little five minutes of enthusiasm, he actually acted like a normal dog. <laughs> Imagine that.
What was that? That was this, I think. I don't have the patience to go slow and make even dots. They just come out however they come out. <laughs> I cannot. Anything that takes patience, going really slow and doing things exact, forget it, forget it, forget it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Hey, Diane. I'm mean, thumbsy, upsy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, let's see. Where are we here? Look at that on that orange row up here with those shifters in there. I can't, it's kind of still wet, so I don't want to tilt it too much. Those are brilliant shifters. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put this, this shifter right here. I'm going to do something in this darker green. I wonder if we just do X's. Like Gail assigns her checks. The big X. Just bought a set of watercolors. Oh, cool. What did you get, Suzanne? Yeah, this. Don't watch me. <laughs> I do. I do the opposite of what watercolors were made for. And try to just do something completely different. And I can't draw a, a crooked line. So uh, everything's abstract here by design. Hey, Linda, if you sneak in there. I can give you a lot of recommendations for watercolors, though. Oh, thank you. It's mostly the magic of the watercolors, just letting them move and do their thing. This is a palette of Masha watercolors from Etsy. She makes the best granulating watercolors that I've touched. I've touched a lot of them. <laughs> I like to go, you know, one toe over the line. So, I wonder if we did this one in here. And then the green. Let's do... Let's do this purple and the green. I know, right? When I just do this, how can I screw up? I still do, but I mean, it's a little more difficult. <laughs> Let's see. What do I want to do here? Maybe just bigger blobs. Doodling is one of the hardest things for me to do, which it should be the easiest. Cheap Craigslist, but I want to get some Alta New. I think some people here use a lot of the Alta New. Um, and YouTube, as you probably know, is a really good resource to look up any kind of swatching of paints or, um, you know, using certain, certain brands, uh, and seeing them swatched or swatching brands that you maybe want to get that you don't, you don't want to spend the money for yet, but trust me, don't do what I do and buy all of them and think that makes you a better artist. <laughs> I use Kathy, Dragonfly Kathy's uh, strategy. Didn't really work for me. That's okay. Um, let's use this one here. I'm going to use this. Go back to this other brush. This little skinny line here. And I think I'm going to put this. I think this one's called Aura. Aurora. I think it's Aurora. Oops, that was wrong. That went in the wrong palette. I 
I love how this makes these long skinny lines, this long snout on this fine brush. It's a fine brush. Oops, that was a little too long. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just say I meant to do that so one stood out longer than the other ones. <laughs> okay, the blue. What do we want to put on the blue? I think this ocean one. I think this one's ocean. Big drop. Another big drop. Come on. Anybody who thought this was going to be circles was sadly mistaken, <laughs> including myself. Uh. Oh my goodness. This is a hard brush to get used to because it's got so much give on the, the tip of it is so long. And loading the pigment, it, you know, get up in the belly of it and this thicker part and it's just pouring out. Oops, hello. This thicker part and it's just pouring out to the tip a little bit too fast. The story goes that when they first came down the Mississippi Ruby River, Hubby's ancestors didn't know how to write, so they signed their name with an X later. They kept the X, hence Boudreaux. Sounds like an old wives' tale to me. CB, I swear she's been hitting the hooch too early today. <laughs> let's see. What one should go in here? Let's put let's put this one in there. I don't know why. Ooh, that's nice against that dark, actually. And my watch is beeping. Uh-oh, which one did I use? This one or this one? We'll say it was this one. <laughs> nope, it was the other one. Ah, let's mix them up, shall we? There are some days I should not be allowed to turn the camera on. Let's make sure nobody's on fire here. <laughs> um, you know what I wanted to do, and I forgot totally about it, is to use one of those gold pens for some of this stuff. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's get these two rows squared away. What time is it? 519. Um, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I'm hoping that once I have this spinal surgery and get recovered and healed and retired, that I can stream a couple times a week, perhaps. We shall, oops, we shall see how that all goes. CB, you weren't here early on, but I got a call from my surgeon's office Thursday or Friday. must have been Friday. Said my insurance denied my discectomy and spinal fusion surgery. So, I have to figure that crap out tomorrow. Might use this one. Let's just use this one here. Just so she doesn't feel left out. Oh, that is that CB admitting to her to everyone that she's full of it?
<laughs> Oops. Oh, that was a big mis a misplaced splot. Oh well. I'm just I'm ready to wrap this one up. Well, let's just do this. Since that's not cooperating. Let's just put a couple lines through there. A blob and a couple lines. How about that? Since we already got the blob here. Patty, what reason did they... Um, the one that I was told was that I hadn't completed my physical therapy yet, um, which I didn't, but um, I went to all of them up to the time where my shoulders were so locked up doing the neck strengthening exercises that I couldn't hardly function with my arm. I mean, it was bad. My shoulders are bad anyway. You got, might remember I had surgery on my left one a couple years ago, right before I had my knee done, actually. So what's that a year and a half or so ago? It was April will be two years ago. And um, during my recovery of the knee, I um, broke loose whatever they fixed in my left shoulder again. Um, that was fun. <laughs> and my right one is pretty much, you know, it, it's not good on a, on a bad day. I mean, it's on a good day, it's not good. Um, so the exercises just really aggravated it really badly. I mean, throbbing, I couldn't sleep on my sides. I couldn't reach up without them locking up and like popping and cracking when I go to lower my arm again and get stuck. And <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. So I have to make sure, uh, go to, go to the physical therapist and talk to him tomorrow. And, um, see if we can get that sorted out but they have a meeting the doctor has a meeting with um the insurance company on thursday i think the 11th whatever that is so we shall see i just hope it doesn't get too delayed because i move so much stuff to accommodate everything as dave has surgery on february 5th on his foot so i'm supposed to be yeah, I hope that's what happens, CB, on uh, Thursday. The date was the 17th. I was supposed to have it on the 17th. So there's still time to rally around. But as of today, I have to stop some, certain meds out for 10 days prior to surgery. So if it gets bumped out, how, how does that work? And if it goes past, let's see, when did I go for my... Uh, Four, third the third i think it was i had my pre-op and um so if it goes you know into early february i got to do the pre-op again like god darn it um anyway these watercolors dried i want to show you from when we first came on i was showing these where the hell are they here this set i got from mab mab watercolors it's their mirror set they call it with all these different silvers in there, different size mica and flakes and glitter and whatever's in there. Thanks, CB. Um, and this one that's called Cosmo from them, and this other one is Vivid Number no. Two. It's a color shifting that I that I swatched on here. So here's all the different varieties of the shine. This is just this is watercolor paper. This is a piece of black bond paper. So you can see. That looks golden. It's not gold. It's silver. I don't know why. And there's the one that looks like a starry night with the, and this one looks like the silver with the stars in it. And this one's kind of just the mirrored silver chrome. This one's got a little bit thicker of a pigment than this one. You can see that looks satiny and this has a little bit of a texture to it. And then this one here is really pretty. I like all of them for different things. Um, so I swatched, where the heck is that thing? Here was one of the messes we did a couple weeks ago. 
but I just use these dark colors to swatch some of these over. And here's the one I was talking like a starry night. See how the, the glitter's kind of separated. It's not real thick. So it, that's this one here. The middle one up top. And then here's the Cosmopolitan. And this is that color shifter, which is really a brilliant. Oh, there you could see it shift. That's really odd that you can usually hardly ever see a color shift shift on camera. But you can definitely see that. Purple, pink, and blue. Can't hate that, people. And then, um, oh, here's the mess we made with um, the circles for just to get dot off my back. Not making circles and letting them run into each other. But I did drop some Lissy Linka in there. That one color shifter, you can see it over here. But they do run and make pretty stuff to you. This this pale pink that was in the um, the ocean watercolor set, this real pale one up here, that's a traveler. That rascal is. And then here's this monstrosity we ended up with. So this is something that I would probably chop up and use in different um, collages or something or something. You don't know what. Oh, that's what you want for that look forward. Now I gotta move this way back. Er, er. Okay. Um, but yeah, I could, you know, make like long skinny bookmarks with just a little bit of that in each one or punch out circles of it. So you can do, it's still not all lost. Gala. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So kind of you, Diane. Where the heck? Oh, here it is. So I'm trying to think of when. I don't even know what's going on now until I figure out the surgery thing. So if I um, disappear off the map for a few weeks after the. Thanks, Norma. After the 17th, you know where I am. Or if you see me on a milk carton, I didn't have my surgery and something else has happened. <laughs> Somebody called Dave. Uh, oh, mercy. Thanks, Yvonne. All right, kids. I'm going to I'm gonna call her quits while I was going to say while I'm ahead, but clearly I'm not ahead. <laughs> and uh, try this another day soon pre-surgery. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks for hanging in there and tolerating Gala. <laughs> and, and one more time, this one's for Gala. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up on the pearl white ink. You love it. Pearl white ink. Was it the Amsterdam? Fran, this one? It just happens to be still sitting here. Yeah, Jan, you too. Let me know how you make out. And um, I hope you do well and it's it's a quick recovery. We need you back up and running for July. <laughs> All right, kids. I'm... I, uh, I'm going to sign off. I was just catching up on the chat. And um, I appreciate everybody being here. Thanks, guys. You too, CB. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Love you. Here we go. Pushing the button. Bye. <laughs>